It's a passage in the canon where the Buddha tells Rahula to make his moon like earth. People throw disgusting things on the earth, and the earth doesn't recoil. He says, in the same way, you should make your mind non-reactive to things, pleasant or unpleasant. But it's interesting, it doesn't stop there. We're not here just for non-reactivity. We try to be as non-reactive as possible so we can see clearly what's actually going on. Because sometimes some really unpleasant things are happening. And the mind is weighing itself down with the, the pain. And you're not going to see the distinction between the outside pain and the pain that you're adding, unless you're willing to sit with this kind of thing for a while. For a while to notice what's actually happening. If anything negative comes up and you react immediately, you don't understand anything at all. So our non-reactivity here is for the purpose of understanding how the mind is fabricating. And then we try to fabricate in a more skillful way. We don't just stop with the non-reactivity. We figure out what's a more skillful way to breathe, what's a more skillful way to think about these things, what are more skillful perceptions to hold in mind. How can you create feelings of well-being even in the midst of negative incidences, negative happenings? So try to make your mind like earth, or as the Buddha says, make your mind like fire. Fire burns disgusting things, but the fire doesn't recoil from them. Make your mind like water. Water washes disgusting things away. And yet it doesn't get disgusted by those things. The wind blows disgusting things around, but the wind itself isn't disgusted. And then as you as non-reactive as you can be, then you can begin to notice what's actually going on, what fabrications lie below the surface, and how you can direct them in a more skillful direction. So you don't just stop by being still or stop by being accepting. You admit what's happening so that you can figure it out and learn how not to suffer from it. That's the point where the practice gets really special. If the practice is simply a matter of endurance or patience or acceptance, as they often say in Thailand, even water buffaloes are very accepting of things. But I haven't seen any water buffaloes get enlightened any time recently. We're non-reactive for the purpose of understanding, to help your discernment to make it clearer, to make it sharper, so you can figure out exactly what you're doing that's causing the suffering and how you can stop. <laughs>